Hi, hope you're having a great day. Well, today I want to talk about one change. You know, when I keep, usually when I reach the month of de December, I'm always looking at my data to see what are the best lifestyle changes that people have made over 2019. What are the best lifestyle changes that help people to lose weight? What are the, and keep it off, what are the best lifestyle changes people used to put their cancers into remission to reverse their type 2 diabetes? Yes, I said reverse your type 2 diabetes, reverse your thyroid conditions, your Hashimoto's, relax an autoimmune system, feel better about yourself. There are so many people just suffering from fatigue, hair issues, skin issues, and all of these problems. But when I look at the one thing that has worked phenomenally, okay, now we always speak about the four verticals of health, which is balanced nutrition for you, adequate exercise and movement, quality sleep, and of course, looking after your emotions and your mental health. Well, the one thing that I'm going to pull out today and, you know, basically stress on, and this could be the one goal that most of you make for 2020. And you don't have to wait till Jan 1st. You can start right today. And I'm talking about the circadian rhythm fast, the fast where we try to eat our meals earlier at night. And then we have a good fasting period of 12 to 14 hours. We break our fast beautifully the next morning and we get on with our day. The amount, the amount of testimonials that are poured in across the world ever since we started the circadian rhythm fast, which I'm going to explain to you right now, has been phenomenal. From people who were in so many acts to now sleeping deeper and better. From people losing inches and fat. I'm not concerned about weight loss. I'm concerned about people losing body fat, not weight. So people have lost body fat. They've lost inches. Their skin's gotten better, their hair's gotten better, their digestion. Digestion is like, you know, it's the engine of a car. You know, your digestive system is like that. If it's not working the right way, you have problems ranging from energy to your immune system to that glow in your face, everything, everything, including rapid aging. You see, we can take pills and creams and all this anti-aging facelifts and creams and all of that stuff, but it will not work as well as nutrition and the lifestyle that you live. You know, it's as simple as this. What you feed your body, you'll see on the external. You wanna see better hair, better skin, better weight. It's what you feed yourself. How often you move your body and how safely you do that will also result in how you look on the exterior. They call it beauty sleep because you look more beautiful, fresh and glowy after a good night of rest. And then of course we talk about stress, but coming back to the circadian rhythm fast and the simple science behind it. Have any of us ever wondered why has health become so difficult today? People are health obsessed. People spend 95% of their day wondering what food they should eat next, what kind of workout they should do, moving from one spiritual fat to another. You know, there's so much of emphasis on good health. I, I mean, the emphasis should be on good health, or but on being healthy. Why should it be that way? I, our bodies have an intelligence that was designed to look after us, to look after us, an intelligence inbuilt in us. Now, if we're able to harness that intelligence, guess what? Our body does what we're trying to do all the time being healthy, all the time punishing our body with exercise, going on to extreme fad diets and all of these things. We have a biological clock within us. It works with the cycles of nature. One of the simple examples of the cycles of nature is sunrise and sunset. Different seasons, of course, that's changing because of global warming, but sunrise and sunset. Look at animals. They sleep at a particular time. They wake up at a particular time. And humans are supposed to do that as well. But we've been so disconnected because of social media, technology, gadgets, and entertainment. That's disconnected us from our biological clock. And because our biological clock works and several thousands of functions work and are controlled by your biological clock. When it's misaligned, we have so many problems. One of the most common problems that men and women have is a hormonal imbalance. Women with PCOD issues, CEDAS, PMS, body hair, ovarian issues, cancers, overweight, abdominal weight, poor menopause, difficult situations when they go through menopause, falling hair at the age of 30, 35, 40. A woman isn't supposed to lose hair that early. And the same thing with men working out, but they have huge pot bellies, low testosterone levels, low libido, erectile dysfunctions at the age of 25, 30, 35 and stuff like that. These are all hormonal imbalances because we cannot maintain the biological clock. Now imagine what would happen if we aligned our biological clock with nature. Our bodies look after us. 
our our hormones figure out the balance that doctors, nutritionists and medical professionals are trying to do for ages and ages. You know, your body figures out your immune system, which again, scientists, doctors and everyone is trying to figure out for the longest time possible. But we have a clock which has looked after us for civilizations and civilizations. We now need to get that clock back into practice. But something's going very wrong in the world and that's the disconnection I'm talking about. That's going to be a whole different video that I talk about. We're disconnected from our own clocks because we have so much around us. Entertainment, social media, gadgets, movies, Netflix, whatever it is. I have nothing against all of these things. But if we're overusing it, it's disconnecting us. And that biological clock is not working the right way. And that's why we have problems. So now all the testimonials that I spoke about, which are coming in from different cultures across the world has been phenomenal. And people saying, look, how can something so simple work? It's no magic. We have to understand that people have aligned their biological clocks with nature and now their bodies are working for them. So all the fat that they're losing, the better sleep that they're getting, the better skin, the better hair, everything. They're just feeling like a lot of people reached out and said, Luke, now I know what it is to feel healthy. All this time I thought my fatigued life was a way of living, but today I feel healthy. And all of that was done when people aligned their biological clocks. A lot of people, a lot of people today are intermittent fasting and intermittent fasting the wrong way. People start their fast at nine o'clock one night, the next night at midnight. Some people at two in the morning because they think, oh, I can party and then fast for 16 hours. Well, you're just confusing your clock more and more because your body doesn't care about your schedule. It just cares about what food it's getting at what time, what sleep it's getting at what time, and that's the clock it maintains. So most people are intermittent fasting the wrong way and then they complain. In fact, it's harming most people. They're getting acidic, sugar levels all over and in fact some people are even putting on weight because when you confuse the biological clock and you fast at different periods your metabolic rate slows down which means you have the possibility of gaining more weight but instead of doing 16 18 24 all of that stuff there are people doing ridiculous things number one when we go back to evolution it was called fasting and feasting so when there was no food people fasted when there was food people ate a lot of food okay people are trying to do this fast every single day 16 hours 24 hours the human body's not asked you to do so much you don't even have to do that much some people who are doing a 24 hour fast once in 10 days is more than enough some people who are doing a 14 or 16 hour fast twice or thrice a week is good enough. But when you do the circadian rhythm fast, which is an early dinner, okay, probably by sunset, you don't have to fast any more than you need to do that. Maybe twice a month you can observe like an 18 or a prolonged fast, like 24 hours or something like that, just to reset your entire system. But most people are making fasting into a fad. Now, the beauty of the circadian rhythm fast is Kids can do it, adults can do it, teenagers can do it, kids in hostels can do it. It's something which is doable, something which you can do without having to try so, so too hard and including the elderly. So it's as simple as that. We wanna to try to have our dinner by 6.30 or sunset, wherever you are in the world. So some people are in colder countries where the sun sets by four o'clock, adjust your dinners. My point is have a dinner as early as possible. The one thing that everyone needs to know Everyone needs to know, and science has proven it, the human body is not designed to digest food late at night, period. And we all know that. We don't need science to explain that. When we have late night meals, we wake up acidic. We wake up with indigestion. You check your blood sugar levels. They're all over the place. You wake up tired and fatigued because the human body is not designed to break down food late at night. Okay, so it's not an excuse. People who talk about work, people who talk about, you know, family, all of that stuff. These are excuses. There's a way, where there's a will, there's a way. I have CEOs of companies today. I have people who are at top positions who are having their dinner at 6.30. Whether they're in office, whether they're at home, they're figuring it out because it's important to them. Their health is important to them. For everyone else, there's an excuse. Anyway, coming back to this, 6.30, you have a good meal. Have your carbs, have your proteins, have your good fats. You don't need to diet. You have a good proper meal and then you start fasting. Only water until morning. You brilliant, you, you'll finish 12 hours beautifully. Now, if you're still not hungry after 12 hours, move on to 13, move on to 14, but listen to your body. The moment you get a hunger pang, break your fast because your body has finished its work and it's now asking you for raw material in terms of nutrition to rebuild yourself. I know so many people who are pushing their fast. They made it the game. They're comparing themselves to everyone around and pushing for 16, 18 with zero results. 
zero, zero results. Of course, if you're more obese and you have weight, any kind of fasting is going to get, get off the first initial five to 10 kilos, depending on how much you weigh. That's not a success story for other people to see. If you are overweight by cutting out one meal a day, you will start to lose weight. But that doesn't have, mean it has to be the right way for you. So please stop comparing yourself with everyone. You have a good meal, nothing in your system, Till 12 hours later. Like I said, you can go on to 13, 14, 15. It's completely up to you. Now, people who have an early dinner and wake up and have a good breakfast, you need to understand that your metabolism at, is at its highest at lunchtime, which means you can have a really good, wholesome lunch, and even earlier in the morning, which is at breakfast time. But after lunch, we want to make sure that our calories start decreasing. I don't, I'm not saying starve yourself, but start decreasing your calories towards sunset time. Now, you finish this. Your biological clock gets its food, shuts off your digestive system. The moment it shuts your digestive system, all that energy now goes towards repair of your body. All the functions that, it's, that energy is required. But now you suddenly wake up at 10 in the night or you're, you go out and party and you eat at 11 and then 12. You restart your digestive system, which is not meant and not designed to work for you. Now you can see how much you're upsetting your biological clock and how many problems you're creating. Now, like I always tell people, this is simple. Have an early dinner. The first two or three days out of habit, you may get hunger pangs at 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock because you've been used to eating late dinners. Go through that. Work through it. You may get a little bit of acidic. You're a little bit acidic. Work through it. Most people who have cured their acidity did it with fasting the right way. Okay, but a lot of us are too soft today. The moment we get a symptom, we start reacting and saying, oh, the fast is bad. You don't look at your lifestyle, but you blame the fast. So start doing it. Bear with it for two to three days, and then you'll automatically find 12 hours is a breeze. Maybe 13, maybe 14. Everyone is different. Listen to your body. Now, fasting doesn't have to suit everyone, so don't do it. Don't make it a fat. If it doesn't suit you, you're already healthy, you're at your best weight, your reports are good, you're happy in life, everything is fine. You don't have to fast. Just continue doing what you're already doing. You don't have to do what everyone's doing to feel better. That's why I tell people be mindful. If you're feeling good right now, there's no need to change anything in your life. Just because everyone else is doing FOMO, the fear of missing out. So everyone tries to fast. And most people I say, you're, you're already at a good weight. Your reports are good. Why do you need to fast? And then they're like, oh, yeah, I don't know. I'm actually good. I'm, I feel great. I don't need to do it. Be mindful about your health. Everyone doesn't have to fast. And if you want to do it, do it two or three or four times a week. The beauty of circadian rhythm fast is you can do it every day. Do it Monday to Friday, Friday night, go out, have a late dinner. Saturday night, go out, have a late dinner and party. Sunday, get back on track. So you have your Sunday right up to your Friday where you're respecting your biological clock. I have a lot of people now who don't even eat out on weekends. They finish their, their dinner at six o'clock and they go out and they still have a great time. They have great friend circles, great social circles. They don't feel left out. They're having a brilliant time. So whoever said that you need to socialize around food, that's a lie. That's a myth. It's not like the food's making you happy. You go to socialize around people who make you happy, people who uplift you, conversations, fun, all of that stuff, not food. You can sit and entertain yourself at home with food if food provided entertainment. So these are all lies and myths and mindsets. And a lot of your friends will try to bring you down when you do this. And you be careful of such friends. It's because they want to do what you're doing, but they cannot do it. So they try to bring you down. There's nothing wrong. As long as you turn up at a party physically to be there, offer your energy, offer your, you know, your friendship and all of that stuff. No one can force you to eat. You don't have to feel bad about that. You don't have to feel ridicule about that. But people who want to be like you, but and cannot be like you will try to pull you down. And they'll say, oh, you're not social. Of course, you're social. You turned up at a social event. Who said being social means you have to eat every single night whenever you go out partying and socializing. So live your truth. Live your authentic self. Stop being like the herd. Stop being like everyone else. If your body has adapted to a particular lifestyle, you live that lifestyle. Be proud of it. Okay, you don't have to lower yourself to average people just to fit in. You be beyond average and above average and you can still fit in, have a great time, feel, feel happy, fulfilled and content. And that's exactly how the circadian rhythm fast is. Simple fasting according to your biological clock. Start as early as you can in the evening, preferably before sunset, with sunset. Okay, break your fast in the morning. Now, you may get nine hours the first time. That's great. The next day, you may get 10. Then you may get 11. Then you may get 12. One day at a time. This is not a competition. One day at a time. And you will find that this fast 
changes your life. And very soon, I'm going to be talking about breast cancer and the latest medical research come in where they say the earlier the dinner of a, a breast cancer patient eats, which means you have a longer faster period, a fasting period, the better is the prognosis of the patient. And I'm going to share that medical data with you very, very soon to show you how a simple thing like this is going to change the world and it's going to change the health and lives of everyone. And the best part of it is it is free. But that's what worries me because everything that's free is never valued. It's taken for granted. It's never used. But I'm telling you right now, this is free. All you need to do is do it. You need consistency. You need discipline. You need a little bit of faith and belief. Start doing it and see how light you feel. People's caffeine cravings have reduced. People's sugar cravings have completely reduced by just aligning their biological clock with the cycles of nature. And this should be the goal for most of us in 2020 or like I said, why wait till 2020? Start right now. I landed in Australia about four days ago and I've been doing a beautiful circadian rhythm fast for about like, you know, 12 to 14 hours. I'm with family. Some days the dinners got late. That's fine. You know, I ate a later dinner and I just fasted a little bit longer. I ate when my body told me to eat. And it's the most amazing feeling ever that you can be on a holiday, you can party, you can chill, but you can still respect your biological clock and let your body work for you. That's what we need to do. Let your body work for you and look after you. It has more intelligence than you, than me, than anyone on this planet. It's got an intelligence that we should all harness. Have a great day, everyone. Okay, try doing it from today. Of course, it's the festive season. Take a few days off here and there, break it. But get back to early eating and I promise you it will change your cycle to an extent where you don't have to try hard anymore. Have a great day. Have a great evening. Until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right, breathe deep. And thank you for all the beautiful wishes that I keep uh, seeing that are coming in while I'm talking right now. I appreciate all of your wishes. Thank you very much.